I hope you never have to do this, but do you need to diagnose a heart attack? Well, there is an app for that. Health tools are flooding the smartphone market, and that has drawn the attention of the FDA. Bloomberg Shannon Pettypiece is here with more on this. So now the FDA wants to get involved in this. Yeah, and here's the problem. There's uh, as many as 30,000 different health apps out there on the market. I'll show you a few. I just did a search for cardiology here on my iPad, uh, and you can see there's really just dozens of them, and these aren't just simple simple things that we're talking about here. These are things like looking at an actual MRI of a patient. Here's someone with a brain tumor trying to diagnose whether the tumor is growing or not. Mm. Now that's got the FDA concern that doctors are going to be diagnosing and treating devices on something as small as an iPad. And the FDA says, well, if it diagnoses or treats a disease, that's a medical device and we should be getting involved. So now they're weighing what type of guidelines to put out for all of these apps that have flooded the market. Right, because, I mean, there's got to be varying degrees of quality in, in, in some of these apps. Uh, how, big is, is a mar how big of a market is this? Well, I didn't realize this, but uh, doctors and patients spent $600 million on health apps last year. And that's expected to explode over the next five years as things like electronic medical records come online. Some analysts expected this could be a six billion dollar market. And I think that's why the FDA is getting involved now because they see this as something you know where every doctor is all of a sudden going to be looking at EKGs for heart attacks on an iPhone or an iPad and that's where this concern about whether there's consistency, whether the chips are up to handle it, whether mm. the devices are appropriate for this is starting to come into play. So does that mean the FDA actually may also want to regulate the chips and the devices? That's one of the questions right now. So companies like Qualcomm, Nokia, who make the elements of this, even Google with their Android platform, that they may have to be regulated too, that, that these smartphones may be uh, an accessory to a medical application, so an accessory to an actual device. So that's a possibility as well here that the FDA is thinking about. Well, that would be, that'd be extraordinary. <laughs> I mean, you would think it would be a lot of effort and a lot of work, but like I said, there there is that concern that you know people and and especially patients doing things like monitoring their own glucose on an app at home that they may get sick if right. this app isn't isn't uh, accurate isn't consistent Not functioning correctly yeah, exactly what about for the app makers though so if they find that they're going to be under FDA scrutiny or regulation what do they have to do to meet those guidelines or you know we don't know the guidelines yet yeah. but what do they have to do if they had to meet the guidelines that medical devices have to meet so a stent a pacemaker a glucose uh, pump uh, for diabetics uh, that could cost them about 30 million dollars to get one of these devices cleared through the FDA and it could be a year or two of approval time uh, and that people are saying is probably really going to limit how many of these apps take off right now you know everyone's making them but only about a dozen actually have FDA approval mm -hmm. so that's probably going to really restrict how much doctors could do with these devices. Interesting. Shannon so thank we'll you very keep much. Keep an eye on it. Yes we will and I'll check out some of those apps as well.